first word is, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And when they came to the place called the, the skull, there they crucified him. But Jesus was saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Why did Jesus become man? To die for our sins, right? To give his life a ransom for many. And in doing so, he reveals his Father, God. See, Jesus is God's message to us. He is the Word of God who became flesh, who explained who the Father is and to make him known. The writer of Hebrews says that God, after speaking in many occasions and in portions, partially, to our fathers through the prophets, has now spoken to us in his Son. The exact representation of his glory, the radiance of his nature. But some still have failed to understand him. And so he sent his final word, his loudest and clearest word. Jesus forgiving, healing, providing, feeding, raising people from the dead, releasing captives, all show who the Father is. All show the nature of God. But it was on the cross that is seen the clearest revelation who, of who God is, who the Father is. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Jesus on the cross, from the cross, speaking to his Father and seemingly asking him to forgive those who were torturing him and killing him. But I imagine the Father responding, of course, son, of course. This is not a picture of two different personalities, one suffering on the cross and yet merciful, and the other in heaven, very rigid, very angry, being restrained by his merciful son from avenging him. But no, they are one. They have one essence. What the father is, that's who the son is. And so if the heart of the son is to forgive his enemies, that's the heart of the father as well. And so the father, I imagine, would say to Jesus, of course, son, we forgive, because that's how we roll. That's who we are. And so, in Christ, on the cross, God was reconciling the world to himself and forgiving their sin, not counting their sin against them. Because the cross is the extent that God would go in order to forgive us. It's not what he inflicts on the Son so that he is appeased, so that he is pacified, so that he is, his anger would subside. No, it's, it, it shows us how far he would go so that he could forgive us. So where was the Father on Good Friday? Jesus was on the cross the second person of the Trinity was on the cross, where was the first person of the Trinity? Right there with him, in him. Again, absorbing our sins and reconciling us to himself. Reveal, revealing himself as the God who would rather die for his enemies than kill them, than retaliate. The cross is what Almighty God flexing his omnipotent muscles 
looks like. So let us look at the cross. Let us look at it and remember the gospel. That God was in Christ Jesus reconciling the world to himself, not counting men's sins against them. And there, remember, God loves us. God has forgiven us. God is not mad at us. And God will never leave us nor forsake us. If he would go to that extent of darkness and God forsakenness, then he would go to any extent in order to reach out to us and to save us. No, the true God and his son, because that's eternal life. That's the way it is in his kingdom.